Hey guys, welcome back. Old School with you here, and I've got an update here that is going to revolve around the channel and the future thereof. So, taking a look at right now what's been going on, as you guys know, if you follow the channel, I received a community strike a while back that banned me from live streaming for 90 days. And I thought I understood what I got it for, and I thought it was just an honest mistake. Turns out, it was an honest mistake. And it was YouTube's. I'm not even sure it was honest. I think it was just ignorant. What I thought I got a strike for absolutely had nothing to do with it. That was perfectly fine. What I got a strike for was absolute bullshit. So let's talk about it real quick. First off, let's go to where we're at right now. Um, let's go with, uh, well, let's start here. Take a look at the community. Now, the community guideline status had a strike on it right here. A few days ago, once I realized what the strike was for, I disputed it, and almost immediately, boom, it's gone. I have no strikes. Clean record. Everything is green, except live streaming is still disabled. Your channel received a community guideline strike. Your live stream or archive live stream is blocked globally. None of these are true so far. Your live stream or archive live stream receives a copyright takedown, did not. And your live stream matches another copyright brought. Which, by the way, this wasn't even a live stream, the more I'm thinking about it. Okay. And nothing is helpful, by the way. So, a couple of things I've already learned, and many of you probably already know, and if not, you'd find out in time. And that is that you will never talk to a person at YouTube. Doesn't exist. Unless you're one of the major channels. But if you're like me, 300, 800, 1,000, they're, they're not talking to you. Absolutely not going to talk. You've got to have like 20, 30,000 and up. And then they give you an email address, which apparently is a little bit more effective. But uh, yeah, so like I said, for the small channels, you're never going to get a person. So that re leaves you basically uh, relegated to leaving messages on a community board that do you no good and basically being at their mercy. So now let's forget the community strike for just a minute because I waited way too long to look into it and then I realized, wait a minute, you can't strike me for that. And they removed it. I'm still beyond the 90 days. As of June 7th, I should be allowed to live stream again. And as you can see, that still hasn't come back yet. The title of the video is Dying Light Restore Gold Weapons. The copyright strike was for misleading title and apparently that a lot of the content in the video had nothing to do with the title. This is a 4 minute and 40 second video. Let's just start with that. 4 minutes and 40 seconds. Where are you going to hide stuff in that? And again, it is to restore gold weapons. Okay, let's go. So far, it's all intro. And there's nothing copyright about any of this. It's nothing to do with copyright. That was my misunderstanding. So here I am showing you how and on, where on the map it is. Here's the mission in progress. I'm going to skip around a little bit. But as you can see, it is continuously in the mission, which is how you restore the gold weapon. Gonna pull up your inventory, then go over to the refurbished weapon. Still showing how to. 12 hours, three minutes of fundraiser. Really, really need it. And then at the end. There'll be more information on this channel. That see That's you next it. Time with more from All Night Gaming. So as you can see, that video is completely accurate to the title. So there was no justification. I sent them that. They took it down. Great. Why can't I live stream still? And we're past the 90-day mark. Now let's take a look at the YouTube help, which really is an oxymoron because there's nothing helpful about it. You're going to see a lot of people had similar issues here. You know, YouTube lied to me. This one here, I've read a couple of them already. Uh, had emails back and forth with them where they're like, no, nah, it's just a copyright notice, which means... The person whose content it is is going to claim money from it. You can't monetize it. And he's like, Made, that's cool. I don't need to. And then they went and shut him down anyway. Uh, some other basic questions here. Suspended accounts. And some of these are legit and they're just stupid. You know, it's like, I, you know, it's very clear. Like with music, for example, you cannot use one note of music that's copyrighted and not be infringing on copyright, period. There's no fair use on music. I don't know why, but there isn't. It's not the same as video where you can use up to, I think, three minutes of video. 
as long as you're using it as some sort of an instructional or tutorial or a review, you're allowed to use, I believe, up to three minutes. So if you want to do a review for Last Jedi, then you could use three minutes of the actual movie in that review to form your video, and there's nothing they can do about it. That's why you'll see a lot of videos where guys actually have a clock timer going off for fair use. This way, hey, you can't pull my video down. It's right here. Let's see if I can find mine in this mess. This, lo this list keeps getting longer by the minute, by the way. Another suspended account. Uh, monetization. Double scroll bars. Oh, that sounds like fun. And here's mine down here, which I, I don't know why it's not appearing. Maybe it hasn't been reviewed yet or something. I don't know, but all these seem to have appeared since mine. But as you can see, there's no answers to it. And I'm just letting everyone know that I'm past my 90 days. What's up? So here's the deal. Um, as a lot of you guys know, hopefully you know, I've got my Twitch account up, and that is where I'm going to continue working. Um, right now, a couple of options that I am contemplating. One of them is that I'm going to shut this channel down. The other is that I simply will not post videos to it anymore. I'm not going to give YouTube any more money. I haven't quite made up my mind which direction I want to go with that, but I can tell you this. There will not be another video on this channel unless it's a live stream. Best way to keep up with me in the meantime, guys, uh, please join me. Follow me on Twitch at the last light 10. Especially right now, it's exciting times because we are getting ready to go into E3 this week where there are going to be huge announcements on all kinds of games, including my personal favorite that I am most looking forward to, which is The Last of Us Part 2. Also, if you like, you can follow me on Twitter at All Night Gaming. Just change the A to a 4 like it appears on the bottom right corner of your screen right there. And um, I'll also let you know there what I'm doing and where I'm going to be on and that kind of stuff. Go ahead over to Twitter. Click the follow button over that little heart, and then you'll be able to know when I go online. All right. In the meantime, this is Old School reminding you find time every day to say the two magic words. Game on.